Hello folks and welcome to Linux for Seniors. And I do encourage that you subscribe. Um, none of my videos are under two minutes on my new channel. My previous channel I used to have over 450 videos. Started my new channel around February and I'm already up to 50 videos and this is March 3, less than three weeks. Now if you are brand new to uh, Linux Mint, I will say a special welcome to you. And um, I have videos on all kinds of subject matter and also different Linux distributions. So moving forward, as I collect my library, I'll just point out a couple of things that when you become a subscriber, and I encourage that, um, you can start and stop these videos rather quickly. All of my videos also have chapters or timelines. If you hit pause, you'll see that below the um, your player. You can also uh, watch my videos on a smart TV if you have the YouTube app. So uh, my, my channel is all about, uh, well, it's designed for seniors or new users. Uh, Linux is really for any age, and I actually um, make comments on, on that in my About section on my YouTube site, which you can also find links in there. But in general, if you are um, wanting to learn Linux or watch uh, different uh, things on YouTube, I'm going to be doing this a little bit slower. I'm going to use less technical jargon. And I've been doing this for about 25 years, if you're curious. I've been around computers for over 30. But more importantly, I'll say welcome either way. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, functions today. Assigning a key, such as if you don't have a power key on your keyboard. And we're going to assign one of those keys to make it do that function. So anyways, folks, I'm going to right click and hit system settings. You can also click the mint menu and click system settings. And uh, I'll open this dialog box, and some of you folks are already familiar with this. And I'll point out the fact that I'm using a size 12 font for this video today. And also, if you have not seen my video on large scroll bars, go take, take a look at that one. You can find it in my YouTube, I'm sorry, in the video section. And if you click the, next to the About key, there's a magnifying glass there. Uh, you can actually in, read about it in the Community tab of how that function works. But more importantly, I am going to first give you system information. This is Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon. And again, if you are brand new, don't read too much into the hardware because I use these machines for different things. If you are brand new to Linux Mint in general, special welcome to you. It's a wonderful system. You'll grow with it. And uh, keep watching my videos. You'll learn all kinds of little tips and tricks. Today, I'm going to talk about this at two symbol keyboard under, found under hardware in your system settings. So a lot of people that are brand new to Linux Mint um, will, and let me enlarge this box, they will just totally ignore this stuff and go, I don't need this, and totally overlook this little box here. Or maybe you don't know what this box does. I'm going to show you what it does. I'm going to give you examples even. I'll walk you through the whole process. So I'm going to click the system for a second and point to the fact that there's a keyboard shortcut logout that's already assigned by the Linux Mint team called Control Alt and Delete. This Control Alt and Delete is assigned to this function of logout. You also have a logout key right here, right? How to read this is basically this. You depress and hold the Control key, depress the Alt, and then depress the Delete, and it'll perform that. So basically you're holding the Control key, holding the Alt key, and depressing Delete to perform the logout box. The shutdown is assigned to control alt and end. You do have a shutdown here. Now usually when people see this, I remember my last YouTube channel, it was actually a favorite. They actually went, I want one of these. So let me stop for a second and explain my keyboard. My keyboard is a Logitech wireless keyboard that has no power key on it. You may have a power key on your keyboard but mine does not have it. And a lot of keyboards out there, whether they're wireless or wired, do not have a power key. There's quite a few out there. I am going to show you that you can assign one key to do exactly what I'm doing here. This dialog box of shutting down, restart, and suspend. And I think when you see this, you'll probably want that also. But maybe not. So I have the function key that uh, the Linux Mint team put in, but I have two more spots to play with. So I'm going to click the next line in line. It says unassigned, and I'm going to click it one more time. It says pick an accelerator. The translation of that is pick a key on your keyboard. 
my F12 key, function 12 key, is not doing anything. So where do I find the F keys? Well, you start with the escape key on your top row, normally. And then you have uh, starting with F1 through whatever. My, as in my case, mine is F1 through 12. My F12 was not being used for anything. It's roughly in the center of my keyboard. I'm going to depress F12. Nice and convenient now. Now I, don't, I can shut down the system. I'm going to close this box and press F12. I'm done playing for today. So I, I did whatever I was doing. I press F12. Now I can shut it down or restart or suspend. Instead of going click and click. Same box, by the way. But this requires a couple of more clicks. Let me open that box one more time. I think you'll see the value in some of this stuff, maybe. So, so I just assigned it F12. I still kept the Control, Alt, and End. It does the same function. So it's Control, Alt, and End does the same function. I just depressed those keys just right now. Now I'm going to show you that you can actually use combinations of something. So the next function here, I'm going to click that in a second, but more importantly, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do before. So I'm going to assign another function to the same thing. That gives me that dialog box. But this time I'm going to use two keys. So your Alt key, which is found next to your space bar, I'm going to use the Alt key and the uh, letter P as in Paul. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to depress and hold, depress and hold the Alt key and press P. And now that is assigned to Alt P. Let me test it. Holding down the Alt key, pressing P, dialog boxes right there. So you can even in, if do that if you don't want to use a function key, for instance. That's that would be a two key combination. That's a three key combination. All about choices. All about choices. How do I clear this out? Click in here where it says pick an accelerator and hit the back backspace key. What if you pick the a key that is uh well questionable or maybe assigned or shouldn't be assigned. Well, I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to depress the, I'm going to try to assign this shutdown function to my enter button or my return key. Watch what happens when I do that. So I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to click that and it's asking me to depress a key and I'm going to press enter. It says, whoops, what are you trying to do here? The combination return, in other words, enter, should not be used because it becomes impossible when you type. That is absolutely true. So they give you, please try using a key modifier. In other words, an option like Control or Alt or Super key, a Windows key in some cases. Some people have that uh, symbol on their key. Some, some people uh, call it a Start key. But anyways, pay attention to these messages. So I'm going to leave that unassigned. Okay. So basically, I just have that. I use that myself personally. So I close the box, I'm done playing, I press F12 and I shut down my system. It's that, instead of me going click, click. Alright, so you saw that, that I signed that to the system functions, right? Now you got to clear on this one. So the, uh, also restarting cinnamon is assigned to your control, alt and escape. Let me perform that right now. It'll freak you out. Maybe, maybe not. And you probably saw some video glitching, but anyways, that's a restart cinnamon. You can also restart cinnamon by right clicking, troubleshoot, restart cinnamon, and it will display the message in the center really quickly and my mouse pointer will jump up there. There we go. And there's also my favorite, holding down the alt key and pressing F2, function two. Everything just went dark. No, you're not imagining things. And it's imaginary box, and I'm going to press the small letter R as in reset. R, not the capital letter R, and then hit enter. Now it's restarting cinnamon. All right, so I did not restart my system. I did not uh, log out. I'm still filming. I'm just showing you different things about restarting cinnamon. Now, did you know you have keyboard already assignments that you can display over here for your common stuff? So let me talk about that briefly if you're not aware of these functions. So if you depress an, uh, the F1 key on your keyboard, it will go to Linux Mint's website for documentation. And you can pick your different languages if you're not from the United States, for instance. Did you also know that that key is also assigned 
to something else if you depress another key with it. So I'm going to depress and hold, depress and hold my control key and press F1. There's your keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to go to page three and discuss very common ones. Are you coming from the Microsoft Windows world? Are you using Dual Boot? Or did you switch over to Linux Mint? Uh, again, welcome to Linux Mint if you did. Control X is cut. Control C and Control V and Control A are very common keys on a Microsoft system for cutting and pasting and selecting. Let me give you the example of this. I'm going to open up my web browser and uh, go to my own YouTube site and remind you one more time to subscribe. But what I'm going to do here is, you see I'm clicking that line, it highlights this line, and then you click next to it and you go, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So you start clicking again going, oh, well, how do I highlight that in a hurry? Well, I'm going to use Control A for that job. Control A highlights that back. And then I'm going to use Control C. What does that Control C do? Control C is a copy. You open up a text document, open that up in a small window for you, click in here once, and I can right click and paste it or I can use Control V. There's that line I copied. So if you want to think about this in a word processor, you're typing away. I know this is gibberish. I'm just doing this for an example. And you decide, oh, I want part of this, uh, this right here. Whatever text you've got highlighted. And I'm going to use Control C. Or I could also right click and hit copy. But I'm going to use Control C. Control C for a copy. Hold the Control key and hit C for copy. Then I'm going to click in here and hit Control V. Oh, I just copied that. By the way, you can use that at Linux for seniors, one word, in standard web browser search, and it'll find my channel. Okay, a little tip for you. So these are common keyboards, common keyboard uh, things. Again, hold the control key, F1 brings this dialog box, there are three pages worth. Okay, not everything in there works on, on certain things, but it does work on a lot of things. I'm going to go backwards a little bit and talk about web browsers and one key in specifically that you may want to think about not using. So I'm going to go back to my example here. And I'm going to click the F11. The F11 is also used in a web browser that makes it full screen. So I'm going to, I just let, letting you see that it doesn't give me a warning. So I'm going to hit the backspace and I'm going to close that and open up a web browser. And I'm going to hit F11. Okay, full screen, F11, F11, F11. So sometimes you want to think about when you're assigning keys like that. All right, folks, I think I am going to stop for today. And hopefully you have subscribed. And I will say have a wonderful tomorrow. Thank you for watching.